for you here tonight. Alan Wake is here. Alan Wake! One of my all-time favorite writers and guests on the show. He's here to talk about his latest book. Oh! Oh! And as usual, our house band... <sighs> Late oh, night. I'm a talk show tonight. Waking up in places with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Didn't need another mugshot in the fucking tabloids. Had I already indeed. done the show? I know was that a recording? Look at that beautiful smiling face. Is that? Hold up. That's Casey. That's uh, <laughs> Sam Lake. Okay, so... <laughs> what the fuck? That's the, uh... Like, one of the creators, right? Sam Lake, he's also the character model for I felt a strange Casey pull toward the TV. and Max Payne and all that good stuff. So, Alright, well, who else we got on the wall? Bob Balder. No idea. Alright. Well, hey, look, welcome back to Alan Wake Part 2. Or Alan Wake 2, not Part 2. This is like, what, Part 4? Something like that? I don't know. But we finally get to play as our handsome boy, Alan. Let's see what uh, awaits us on the TV. Oh. Oh, this is live action. What the fuck? Okay. Looking sharp, my dude. <laughs> oh! Come on! Good to see you, Alan. Great to see you. Welcome back to the show. The fuck is happening? Come on, come on, sit down. Okay, sit down, well, I'll <laughs> just let it play out. Woo! <laughs> oh, man. It is so good to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? So does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. This is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. <laughs> okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? You're looking like or Keanu Reeves, man. Maybe it was written by your evil double. <laughs> well played, man! That is spot on! Playing the role here! Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own? That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right, Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. So... Isn't that what you sign up for with autofiction? No, but seriously, I found the the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of the Matrix. I mm. mean, the writer is physically in his Damn. writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah. That's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. This is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? Yeah, this is getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey. The Oh Dear Diner mug. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this hero's journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Thank hmm. you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> all this talk of meta narratives. Once oh, like the sheriff disappeared. Huh. Oh, and now we're in the uh, now we're in the storybook world, right? That would... Hello. So the live action stuff is like supposed to. Whoa. I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home to Alice. Oh man, this is. <laughs> Like the way he's talking and stuff just brings back Alan Wake 1 memories. Alright, let's see. Uh, is there anything in here that I can peek at? Looks cool. I do like how Remedy does that. Uh, they've, they've done that since, well I guess, uh, Control. Because Quantum Brick came out after Control, right? What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Well, who's that band? Could make a good horror story. Yeah, where they start mixing the uh, live action with the gameplay. That's pretty cool. I know that you know, Control did it in bits and pieces. Quantum Break went into this whole straight up episodic situation. And I never got to play Quantum Break, like, properly. I played a little bit of it. But then they had this weird, like, licensing uh, issue with it. Because I played it on Game Pass, and then I didn't get to see some of the uh, some of the live-action episodes. Because they had been... They wouldn't play. They'd been taken down or something. I don't know. It was really weird, so I didn't get to really play that properly. So, that's unfortunate. Seemed like a cool game. Cool, uh, cool game, cool mechanics. Old whatnot. gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I mean, just time bendy stuff. You know what I mean? But that's always cool. Six sixty five. Neighbor of the peace. Oh, sorry. It. I knocked over your guitar. Old gods of Asgard. Yeah, I heard that. Uh, I think that was like a band in control as well. They had a song. I was a mess. I'd never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. Mr. Door. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Before. Okay, so yeah, the reflections don't exactly show up unless you have ray tracing on. Not even screen space reflections. It's just this weird ghost. Holy shit. Dr. Casper Darling. I... That is out of control as well. Out of control. Many interpretations of many worlds. Mo, oh, my interpretation. Holy shit. I definitely gotta go run back through control. And I'm gonna do that on the channel. Bit by bit. Uh, 665. There we go. Alright. Neighbor of the Beast. You guys got a flashlight? There was something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. Oh shit. Okay. Uh, what was that? I don't know. Let's a message. Oh, impossible to say. And it, well, it was your face. It's your doppelbanger. <laughs> All right. So far, so good. I suppose that like weird ghosting effect as well, like that that uh, shimmer kind of around things. That's in control a lot as well. I really love how they connected those two universes. God damn, I'm gonna keep talking about that until I go back and play control again. Holy shit. That's awesome. I haven't played control in a long time. Not since I beat it. Shit. There was something in the studio with me. Oh shit. I had to get out. And there were other things that I didn't do in control, like little side missions and things like that. 
but I played the first few uh, chapters on the channel, but I don't, and I still still not super uh, good at doing these longer form games on the channel. I've been so used to just doing short form horror content that it's uh, it's different. But damn, I love the lighting in this game. Holy shit. It looks good. This is the ritual to reach war. The fuck? My doppelbanger. Oh shit. I'm in the writer's room. Waking up from the nightmare, I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced. Yeah. About writing here for countless days. Looks real familiar, too. Whoa. Is that the lake out there and whatnot? Oh shit. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so that's just the songs that I've collected so far. Initiation. A plot board for mapping out a story. Okay. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. Scratch. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. You must write to escape. Awesome. I have no idea how long this game is either. Um, you know, switching back and forth between Alan and Saga, though, I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty lengthy. Maybe not like super lengthy, but you know. Uh, plot board. Waking up to a nightmare. Home in New York, but not it felt right. I was trapped in a dark place, a nightmare beyond our world. Safe haven, my writing affected what was outside. I was trying to write a story to escape this place. The story was called Initiation. So, is the writer's... I had to write more. Okay, I get it, Alan. Is the writer's room an AWE? Is that basically what it is? And that's why it's affecting the, the world around him in that general area? I projected myself out to look for a way to escape. I had tried many times, failed. This place made me forget. Everything... Everything Dor had said, it felt, it felt true. Part of my writing are coming from somewhere else. The dark place trapped. You must escape. Okay. Well, let's uh, continue to write, man. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark. Place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. Okay. Okay, so we're back, back at the talk uh, show. A great show for you here tonight. Let's see what we'll we missed. Can I just write myself Alex a Casey fucking bazooka himself. into the world? <laughs> like, and a fucking Q-beam powered by, you know, awesome looks. Okay. Let's do this! Oh boy, we gotta do this again. Can I just exit? Okay, so I have to go on to the show. Alright, well, here we go. Here we go again. Fucking A. God damn. Welcome All right. back to the show. So, oh. Alan. Hey, shit. As the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? 
I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does That's he crazy. look the part to you? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like fucking... He looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. Definitely not the so, voice. Uh, <laughs> what's the just, problem, It's all Sam's real voice. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... Lip syncing's weird. I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. It's like they well, did the in that voiceover case, seen this separate either. from this. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. At least for Alan. Should we hmm. roll it or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. Okay. What the fuck? This, this is awesome. city was an old scar that refused to heal. Holy shit. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. Dude. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. It I was watching the world through a rain slick window. It's my own so fucking Max Payne. Haunting the view. Oh, so I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery oh man i can't wait i hope sam lake does the fucking character That's model for great. the murder case, case. max Payne remake sam. very exciting and very meta i'm looking forward to seeing more <laughs> wait stop what was that about a writer about a lamp what the hell is happening holy shit Oh goddamn! How many times we're gonna have to go back to the fucking talk show? This is so weird, but I'm into it. Uh, where do they all go? I like the game runs much more stable and self-contained places like this, so that's that's nice. Just want to make sure that nothing changes in these rooms each time I go into the into the. Uh, the other world. The upside down. No? Okay. Alright. Well, Alan, let's uh let's go back to the fucking room, I guess. Let's see. Five, six, five. There we go. Hello. Nothing on the TV this time, eh? Fair enough. Well, I guess we'll just continue trucking along. I'm not a writer, but I play one on TV. On talk shows. I guess. Alright. This is fun. Yeah, I love the lighting. You don't need ray tracing for the lighting to look good in these games. It just... So there's an extra little bit of immersion whenever you have, whenever you're able to pull off ray tracing. The lighting is a little bit more, well, it's much more realistic looking and things like that. But you know what? This looks incredible to me. <laughs> All right. I hello. What the fuck? Oh look, there's that shimmer that I'm talking about around the fucking fluorescent lights. Around there. Around that. Wait a second. Hold up. Are we sure? Yeah, are we sure this is Alan Wake 2 and not Control 2? Because that dude looks very familiar. Are you fucking serious? The janitor's office. It is him. That fucking weird ass janitor. I said it was like even one of the fucking titles of one of my my control videos was about the janitor that's really fucking weird I will say that <laughs> they need to work on the screen space reflections and not rely, uh, rely so heavily on the ray trace reflections because not everyone can pull that off uh, because that's 
jarring as hell. Kind of pulls you out of it, you know what I mean? It's just like, you don't look directly at it, you can kind of see stuff, but then my head is floating there in the corner. Anyhow. Alright, well, let's, uh... Oh, shit. Jesus. It is him. What the fuck? Ati? So that his name? Evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> Good to see you. Am, is Alan in the fucking bureau? Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> in the of oldest course, house? Tom. The work will instruct its maker. Tom? I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. Soup. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say. Sorry, have, have we, we met? met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Ahti, the janitor. I remember you from Control. You can't be <laughs> lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Uh huh. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. Well, the fucking facial animations are way better in this than we're in control. What though. do you want me to get Holy from the basement? Shit. And my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got a bag of air mans. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Agree? <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. Damn. It's in a shoebox. In the basement where you left it's it. Crazy looking. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Okay, thank you. I feel like I'm in the fucking oldest house. I feel like, like, isn't that what they call it? In control at the bureau? I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. Uh-huh. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. Yeah. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean to walk over your hard work and whatnot, but I'm just checking the room out. This is fucking insane. It's blowing my mind a little bit. Which how much with how much the fucking FBC is mentioned in this game. Okay. Oh. Meant to go to the map. Holy shit. Okay, like the fucking layout and everything. It reminds me of control. I feel like I'm losing my fucking mind. <laughs> it's just <laughs> to the basement. Wasn't there there's like a whole area in the fucking game? God damn, I've really got to fucking play that game again. Holy shit. Yeah, I think I'm in the fucking bureau. Where's Jesse? God damn, I can still hear him singing and shit. Ooh. An old lamp and a shoebox. Oh shit. Was this what the janitor had left for me? Perhaps. The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. It's cool looking. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light overhead. Whoa! When the light jumped into my lamp, Bro. the whole room changed. Like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming. Uh, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. I'm fucking Dumbledore. Holy shit. 
I got that thing. That's fucking gnarly. Oh shit. That's insane. God, this is cool as fuck. Okay. Alright. Oh, I can suck this light. The glow in the oh, lamp shit. went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new from the darkness. The fuck? Hang on. There photos that I missed? Yeah, Alice's photos. Shit. Let's see. Alright, let me suck that light again real quick. Mm. Damn, that's a cool effect. God damn. Cool ass game. I don't know why why did no like bigger fucking Let's players play it. I'm sure fucking like someone like Red Brad played it, but I'm talking about like, you know someone that it people that are more known for their horror game playthroughs and things like that. Where where? Where are her photographs? Maybe they're just not down here just yet. Fuck, I don't know. I'm seeing Alice's photographs, that's what I'm like. I'm, I'm confused about. I don't know. Alright. Let's just move forward. Maybe we'll come across them. I don't, I don't fucking know. Oh, okay. Well, since I'm in here, let's suck light. It's on this side now. God damn, that's so cool. I love that shit so much. Alright. Onward. Hello. Some super cool transitions. See, like... We need more innovation like this in these kinds of games, man. Okay, let's see. In horror games in general, we need more innovation like that. It's, it's real simple shit like that. Makes a huge difference. Oh boy, where is this? Oh boy. Oh, shit. Oh. Hang on. Hey, damn, I really plow through those doors, huh? I need the. I need to suck light again, I guess. Since I'm up here, I don't know if anything changes. You know? Let's see. We can still go upstairs, but let's go ahead and plop the light into the TV. Alright. Buzzing. The dark place Whoa. wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. Well, this is old. I have to outfit. fight it. I have to remember the clicker. The light switch. I lost it. But I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind. Twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times. Written countless stories. Forgotten how many. I keep failing. But I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the body to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean, that's not an ocean. And a lake, that's not a lake. What?
that I lose you on every time Some say that it leaves forever to slow Some say that it leaves forever to slow That I lose you on every time Some say that it leaves forever to slow I can see you there But you don't see me anywhere I'm right in front of you, I'm right here On this long ending road What are you looking at? Is it your face on a pane of glass? Cause somehow this window becomes a trap On this winding road Will it ever let me go? Forever I am Fading to black Forever I am Circling back Just to fall into this trap This This is the ritual to meet you all.